Well, now I'm embarrassed. Is I'm uh, I'm making more videos than I uh, I'm embarrassed because I I'm making live videos. Um, I, here I'm gonna stick this over here where you guys can enjoy seeing. I think it looks good. blocks out some of that crazy glare. All right, friends, I'm not sorry that I'm making a lot of videos. Uh, I just have a lot of things I wanna share with you um, and uh, a lot of ideas that I want to, uh, to talk about. And this thing here is, uh, I thought this would be fun for you guys to enjoy with me. This is a, uh, an unboxing of the typical, um, it, uh, I ordered all this stuff on, I want to say Friday. Today is Thursday. Oh, ow! Oh, I just, I just paper sliced myself like a, like a Murph. Look at that. Oh, that was dumb. I was super dumb right there. Um, shouldn't have done that. Because I'm nervous. Um, this is a typical box from our supplier. We have two distros, you know, we, I only do boards, uh, I only order stuff wholesale for our, our, uh, completes, so, um, of course, you need plenty of grip, um, Jessup, Wooster's on my, uh, Wooster's on my radio, radar right now, but Wooster's, uh, Wooster's product selection right now is not including something that I, that I really, uh, want to get. Indy 159, Indy 159, big old OJs, um, 60 millimeter arrows from Bones, a solid wheel. Um, then uh, I ordered a mess of, uh, of hardware. So that's, uh, I ordered, here's a loose, Loose nut in my head. Um, hey, Chris, good to see you on here today. Um, I got uh, hardware. That's this uh, one and a quarter. No, this is uh, one and a quarter. This is one and a half inch hardware. Well, let's see. This is one and a half. This is one and a quarter. No, this doesn't look right. Yeah, this is, it probably is right. Um, one and a quarter, one and a quarter, one and a half, I don't know. Um, Indy 1, 159s, Indy 1, 69s, uh, 59, 169, 169, 159. Another set of arrows. So, one set of 159s, one set of arrows, hardware, and bearings. Here's my bearings, bones reds, solid bearing. Uh, that's going to uh, Brother Keith. Happily, I, you know what? I like that they sent me this box. This is the same size box that I ship in. So, um, that saves me about $2.00. 50 cents right there on shipping. That's cool because the shipping costs are pretty exorbitant. But there's some, um, there's this week's custom orders. Um, one, two, and risers, and reds, and then these guys get. So the first two customs of the week are going to be on these six Sector 9 uh, Butterballs. Super, super sick cruiser wheel. Wish I was riding them. Um, so these first two setups, um, customs that are coming out. So today is, uh, I've got three custom makes. Uh, sorry, I've got four custom makes. One of them is the dreaded wheel well make. I'm on my, look, this one is, I'm going to make this wheel well make. And I'm not going to look back. And um, I did not succeed 
in the past two months at building a wheel well jig that I can believe in. Um, I really didn't. I thought I would. I thought I would pull off building a wheel well jig that I would be able to. Um, that I would be able to believe in for all future wheel well builds, and that didn't happen. Um, I wound up uh, just having to go full manual on wheel wells, and what I'm learning is that that's not that bad. Um, it's not that bad to just go full manual and make wheel wells uh, by laying them in. I'm pretty good at it, and um, I, I guess maybe if, if someone who's in the maker movement watches this, perhaps one of the takeaways could be that, um, now just make it, just go for it. Do your best job and make it. It's probably gonna skate really well. Um, and don't fear the reaper. If somebody gets aboard and they feel like it wasn't precise enough, um, ask them for a mulligan and try and make it again. Uh, I, think I, I, think I, fell, I think I fell victim to my self-doubt far too far too strongly and um, I think that's okay but uh, um, pan head 8.5 with wheel wells um, the two super crazy local customs came in and drew their own boards with me Keith's board over there still waiting for word back on uh, wheelbase and graphic I you know what I did is I emptied my phone out and it had the conversation in it on Facebook and it dumped it because I uh, needed to make space for videos. And um, that's okay. And then I've got another, another customer who has a ditch dagger um, and they wanted to get two sets of wheels, one for dog walking and one for normal, and two sets of bearings and uh, a set of uh, one, uh, a set of uh, 159 trucks. And um, I, I think it was a set of one, 59s. It, it must have been. And um, uh, their, uh, their, their setup is right here. So I've got, this is the one with, uh, it's already already out there. It's a, it's a ditch dagger that's lasted forever. This one is Keith. Um, this one is Nikolai. And, uh, and, uh, and this one here is Ellie. So, um, and then I've got, uh, uh, um, and then I've got my, uh, my wheel well deck and, um, I will decide later if I'm going to show you that wheel well deck. I, I bet I'll do good. What I'm going to do is, uh, I, I regressed and reverted to the same old way of making wheel wells I did before the last few times I've done them, um, which is I'm going to use a simple drill wheel and, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just, uh, dive in there. Um, I was trying to build a table jig, um, and I think I will. I think I will succeed at mounting a motor under the table and building a jig that I can lay the board into and will make a consistent wheel well. But for now, uh, my goal on wheel wells is take as little wood out of the board as I can, leave the board strong, and put the clearance, the apex of the clearance, where the wheel actually touches with a 60 millimeter wheel and the same size truck. And I have that in my notes for this one. It's a 60 millimeter wheel, um, and um, that's the that's the headspace I'm in. Thanks for joining on this short video for this unboxing of all the stuff that came in. I pretty much can order anything, but it does. It takes about a week to get here, and uh, I pay shipping on it to get here, and then uh, I I. Uh, Pay the shipping to ship it out so everything that anyone would order from me would be more expensive I suggest you find a retail store and have them order it in for you um, and uh, most of the retails out there are willing to do that so um, hey have a great day and I'll be back at you later I love sharing workshop with you guys